address Facebook. This guy is the Internet's most hated man. He shut down his revenge porn site. He sold the domain to an anti-bullying group called Bullyville.com. That's right. Now, he claimed the photos of underage girls that he was posting was just too much drama. The, the website is called IsAnyoneUp.com. They posted photos that people submitted of their ex-partners, presumably those that they were angry at. And we have Hunter Moore. Is Hunter available? Can anybody tell me? Is he... He's available. Not yet. We're having technical problems, but he started the site. He's here tonight. I'm going to have him explain what went down on the site, how it started. And you know, it's interesting. I've been uh, looking at Twitter this evening, and a lot of the Twitter action about Hunter is positive. And I don't think Hunter and I have actually met, though I'm anxious to meet him here via satellite if I get the technical elements lined up. And people are kind of... Uh, there, he's sort of a hero of sorts. It's hard to manage, it's, imagine that somebody that... But there you are. Hunter, are you with us? Yes, I'm here, Dr. Drew. Uh, all right, Hunter. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so tell me why you set this site up, why you decided to take it down, and what was the drama all about? Well, um, actually, I didn't mean to set the site up. The site was just born, actually. Um, it was just a couple of friends, and... You know, we had our hearts broken by a couple of girls, and we thought we would, uh, you know, make a site and uh, just between us. And a couple of people got a hold of it, and it became "Is Anyone Up?" And that's how it started. Um, as far as uh, getting to the point where we need, uh, I wanted to take it down was uh, after my appearance on Anderson Cooper, and uh, you know, with all the attention, we had more weirdos and more weirdos every day submitting to the site. And uh, we were dealing with a ton of uh, underage, um, you know, pictures that were submitted every day and a lot of animal abuse and, uh, you know, people that had been submitted uh, and posted on the site in the past who had died within the year that the site would have been up. Um, people would find the pictures of them dead and uh, post them along their nude pictures. And that was uh, the drama I was talking about when I wanted to take the site down and eventually did. So, yeah. And, and uh, so let me take you back to the beginning, though, when you put it up in the first place. Why, uh, why not just uh, <laughs> good riddance when somebody treats you poorly and just move on? Why do you have to act out with that kind of aggression? Or why create an environment for people to act out aggressively like that? Aren't, aren't you concerned that you actually hurt people? Of course. Um, but when I did start the site, I, I was hurt, um, and so was my friends. And, you know, it's 2012. I mean, uh, it's... You know, everybody has Facebook, everybody has Twitter. It's really easy to put people on blast. And, um, you know, I, that's pretty much how it started. Of course, my, my main um, reasoning was to hurt people and hurt the girl or girls uh, that did hurt me. And, and, just, and, um, and just, Hunter, just so we're, we're clear, it, it's, it's a yeah. site where people would basically put up, like, inappropriate pictures of their exes, like sex texting and that kind of thing that somebody had sent off to yes, someone. Yes, yeah. Now they're angry. They're angry now they're putting up their pictures for everyone to see, and they don't go away. They stay up there forever, right? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, basically. So the site started as, um, you know, you, Dr. Drew, you would, uh, if you sent your, uh, you know, penis to somebody and they didn't like you anymore, they could come to my site, submit your, all the pictures that you sent um, in a sext, and w along with your Facebook or your Twitter, your LinkedIn, or any kind of social networking profile that you had, and we would link it directly to, to that so people could see these pictures that you had sent to whoever. And, um, you know, it's so heartwarming. It's so it. hard. It's so it's so romantic. It's such a it's such a it's such a new age. It's like we're like it's, uh, uh, yeah. has a whole new chapter to it. But but let me tell yeah. me Hunter hold tight. We're we're taking calls all show tonight, and I've got someone on on the phone wants to talk to you. Her name is Allie Pereira. She's been on our show before. She sent topless pictures of her to her boyfriend. They ended up online. She's with us right now. And Allie, you have a question for Hunter? Yeah, I wanted to know. Actually, Hunter retweeted me when I tweeted you my question. So all of his followers were tweeting me, calling me a slut, and saying that I deserved what I got for my pictures. So I don't really understand mm -hmm. how all of a sudden he's all anti-bullying and says that now that since he shut down the site, these girls' pictures are gone forever because they're not. Once it's on the Internet, it's there forever. What do you think, Hunter? Um, I mean, well, your original 
The original thing you said, I think, is that you took pictures topless and you sent them to your boyfriend and they ended up on the internet. Right. right? That's the original, right. Okay. Right. Yeah, I understand uh, you were... I don't know how you can point your finger at me. Um, you took the picture. I mean, I, I've been justifying this in my head for over a year and a half of, you know, the site, you know, what I do and the site that I run. But at the end of the day, um, it started with you and you took these pictures. I don't know how old you are, but I'm sure, you know, you're smart and go to school. I mean, it's 2012. What do you expect to happen? Somebody's going to monetize this. I mean, um, and I was the person to do it. As far as uh, bullying, um, uh, my main concern is with underage, anything underage, and, um, you know, I'd hate for a Columbine or, you know, Vir Virginia Tech, even though that wasn't underage, to ever happen again. Um, my main concern, you know, is online, and, you know, the kids that get beat up in school, um, you know, go home, get on their Facebook, and are still dealing with the same kids that are, um, are torturing them in school, and that's my main focus, is to put these people... Hunter, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty draconi dr draconian, buddy, to say, well, if someone's going to do it, I just, I just happen to be the guy that did it. Let's, uh, let's go to, I'm on the line, somebody that maybe you, perhaps at one time you modeled yourself after. Tucker Max just called in. Tucker, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Dr. Drew. So what, did you hear what, uh, what Hunter was saying? Yeah, I heard it all. What do you think? Um, you know, it, I, I kind of come down on both sides. On one hand, I understand Hunter's position, that if you don't want naked pics on the Internet, the best way to solve that problem is to not take naked pictures of yourself. Well, that's a, prag I, I that's a pragmatic solution, but how about being the, <laughs> right. a but how about being the agent that, that facilitates these things going to a place that kind of ends up in a harmful situation for people. Well, I, I, you're, uh, on that hand, I, I got to agree with you, too. If, if you're going to be the person that, that kind of spreads sort of toxicity and, and you know, and, and that sort of um, negative, uh, you know, behavior, then you have to deal with the consequences. And for my, I don't really know a whole lot about Hunter, to be honest. I had to look him up. I knew about his site, but I, I didn't really know about him. It seems to me like he's started to suffer a lot of consequences of leading that life and, and running that site, and that's kind of why he took it down, from my understanding. I could be wrong. Is, is, is that, that, thank you, Tucker. And by the way, I hope you get over your flu there, buddy. Take, we'll have you back soon. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that about right, Hunter? Did you, did you really have, uh, did, did karma, as they would say, finally come around? No, uh, I don't believe in karma or magic or anything like that. I, I'm but, just saying. No, I was, I just, uh, but you, you get listen. <laughs> no. You get yourself involved in bad stuff. Bad things happen to you. That's all I'm saying. No, I I'm a human being. Like I don't want to hurt people. I don't like people suffering. Um, and you know the site. You know it got a little too crazy too fast. Um, but yeah, I mean I was more concerned with the underage stuff. I mean I don't like looking at little kids naked, and I had to do it every single day. And you know, that's what I got myself into. And, um, yeah, there was, you know, like I that's said before. That's not disgusting? The, the, All right. That is Let disgusting. me take out the caller. Yeah, yeah, that is hang disgusting. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. You, you go into the belly of the beast, I'm just saying. Jessica in Pennsylvania, exactly. what do you got for us? Dr. Drew, I wanted to talk to you about children acting out sexually. I'm not sure it's totally on topic with your guest right now. Yeah. Um, I have a nephew who has started off on the bus in the school building it's been brought to my sister's attention. How old a kid? To to Hold on a second. How old a kid? He's 10. 10 year old. Okay. If a 10 year old, listen, if a 10 year old is acting out in a way that's sexually directed, that's not just, um, a 10 year old really shouldn't have an understanding of what sexuality is. And so if they do, more often than not, it means that they were aff affected by an adult. So an adult did something to them. How can I get my sister to do something? At very she's minimum. Not sister. She's, she's it, excusing it as naughty boy behavior. It, 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 at very minimum, if a kid is, is, he, if he, is he exposing himself in inappropriate ways, that sort of thing too? Jessica? He, is, he most recently simulated sex with my all daughter. All, 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 all right, Jessica, no more. No more. That's, that's yeah. all you, that, that needs. The school should have that immediately evaluated. That, it's, you know, if he's, whether he's being exposed to pornography, whether an adult actually got his, his or her hands on him, that is a kid that needs evaluation by a professional airlifted right now. I and agree. I'm telling you, you tell the school, they will help out. I promise, okay? All right, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Now, coming up, I've got a mother who isn't buying that Hunter is a change man. We're going to stay with Hunter. He posted naked photos of her 24-year-old daughter on the site. And she is still, uh, she got something to say about it, and uh, she's going to hash that out with Hunter. We'll take your calls, taking calls all hour. Again, it's 1 855. Is that right? Help me out here, 855 Dr. Drew 5. That's our number. That's it. Call in. We'll take your calls all hour. We're live. Be right back.